Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a two layer skirt for a beanie boo. Make sure to watch till the end for a big announcement. Now let's get started! This idea was actually requested kind of a while ago by someone in the comments, and I'm just hoping this is what they were thinking when they asked for a double layer skirt. I'm first going to cut out my pieces using the patterns I made. I'll have these linked in the description box. But not all Beanie Boos are the exact same size, so you may have to adjust the patterns, and my dress patterns video will probably help with that. All the patterns are basically just really long rectangles, and something important to note are the two thicker rectangles are actually only half patterns. I only cut half out so the piece of paper I'm using isn't too long, but that just means when cutting out the pieces I need to fold my fabric in half first, or just cut out two separate pieces and sew them together. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just cutting out the longest piece I can out of my fabric, and then I had to cut off an extra piece to sew on. And I'm doing the same thing for the wider rectangle. For the thinnest rectangle though, that's going to be the belt, and this is not a half pattern, so I just need to cut out a piece exactly this long. Now after that I have all my pieces ready, I already sewed together that extra piece of the middle rectangle, and this is the piece I'm going to start working on first. This is going to be the shorter ruffle on the top of the skirt, so the first thing I need to do is hem along this entire bottom edge. This time I'm folding over the edge twice, but I'm making it really thin, and that's so you don't end up seeing any frayed edges even on the back side. I'm just going to continue to fold and pin that all the way down, and once I've gotten to the end, I'm going to use a straight stitch on my sewing machine to sew this all in place. After that, we have a nice clean edge on both sides, and next I need to hem the very short sides of this rectangle. I'm only folding it over once though, because if I did it twice, that little part at the bottom would be four layers of fabric, and I don't think my sewing machine would take that. After hemming both side edges, I need to do the same thing to the wider rectangle, which is going to be the bottom layer of the skirt. The steps are exactly the same, so I'm just going to fast forward through that. I also love the pattern of this fabric, it just screams spring to me, which was the look I was going for. After that, the edges should be nice and clean like this. And the next step is to sew a straight stitch along the entire top edge, except I'm going to make sure not to lock my stitch at the beginning. I did a similar process in my how to make a pinafore dress, and if you watched that video you'll know I recommended you fold over this top edge and then sew straight across, since I didn't do that and the edge became a frayed mess. But apparently I can't take my own advice because I didn't do this this time. I didn't fold over the top edge and the outcome was the same. So hopefully by the third time I make this, I'll learn my lesson and fold over this top edge as I sew. Okay, so after that I have sewn a straight stitch across the entire top, so now I can go to the end I didn't lock and grab one of those threads. You want to make sure to keep them long by the way. And I'm just going to start pulling on one of them while I hold the fabric with my other hand. This will make the material start to gather around that thread, and that gives the skirt its ruffled look. You'll just have to keep scooting those ruffles all the way down to the other side. This is why my fabric got so frayed though, I'm basically just rubbing that raw edge and pulling out all the threads. But luckily it still turned out fine in the end. Once it's gotten a lot shorter, I'm going to measure this top edge, and I want it to be a little longer than the measurement around my Beanie Boo's waist, so for me that's 11 inches. You can adjust it until it's the right length, and once it's there you can take the thread that you were pulling and tie it in a knot with the other thread, which will lock in this length. And after that, since I had so many loose strings from the fraying, I just cut those off to clean everything up. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the water rectangle to make the main part of the skirt. After doing that, we can start assembling the skirt, but I'm actually going to jump to the belt piece first, and for that, I'm just going to fold in those short sides of the rectangle and sew them in place. Now I'm going to kind of get it prepped for sewing this onto the skirt, so I'm first folding it in half and trying to get it creased, then I'm going to fold in each side to the middle. It obviously won't stay, but I think it makes it a little easier for later. Now at this point, I tried to sew both skirt pieces and the belt together all at once, but that turned out to be too much all at once, so I'm first going to sew the two skirt pieces together. I didn't bother pinning this, I'm just going to use a straight stitch to sew them together at the top. After that, I can grab back my belt piece and try to refold it up and just crease it, but you'll probably have to fold it as you go anyway. Now to attach this to the skirt, I'm first making sure that the bottom edge of the belt is folded up and then laying the top of the skirt on top of that, and then I can fold over that top edge of the belt. 
That way the belt will have nice clean edges and will also hide the raw edges of the skirt. This is probably the trickiest part because it's really small since this is for a beanie boo, but as long as you take your time it should come out great. So I'm just going to keep sealing in that top edge with the belt until I get all the way to the other side, and I had a little extra belt sticking out but I just trimmed that later. As you sew this, just make sure that skirt isn't slipping out from inside the belt, but if that happens you could always undo the stitches, tuck it back in, and re-sew that section. Now after that, it is looking beautiful, it's really coming together, but the last thing to do is add the velcro. I cut some really small pieces of velcro, probably only a centimeter by centimeter squares, and I'm going to attach these at the top of the skirt. Make sure one of the pieces is going on the outside or good side of the skirt, and the other piece is on the bad side or the inside of the skirt. Since these pieces are really tiny and this is the side where I had the extra belt that I needed to fold in, I'm just going to use a needle and thread to sew this on by hand, and I'm not doing anything fancy here, I'm just using a running stitch to go around the perimeter of the velcro. This edge is really thick too, so that's another reason why I didn't use the sewing machine. When I did the other side though, which is the rough part of the velcro, I think it's called the teeth, my thread kept getting tangled up every time I inserted my needle through that rough side, so I decided to use my sewing machine to sew on that part. It worked both ways, so you can choose which way you prefer. Here is what it looks like with the velcro sewn on, and now the skirt is done! I can grab my beanie boo and try it on. Now you may not recognize this beanie boo from my other videos, and that's because she's actually new. This is actually a special Easter beanie boo I bought just for this video, and that's because I'm going to be doing an Easter themed giveaway! I know the thumbnail kind of spoiled it, but that's the big announcement I wanted to make. So the person who wins this giveaway will receive this super cute fluffy chick beanie boo, along with the skirt I made in this video, and I also made her a little fuzzy tank top from a previous video. But honestly, both these pieces are so big, they can probably be worn separately or together. And they will also win this Easter basket and peep toy that I made in my Easter video last year, along with a mini chocolate bunny and some other treats. This giveaway is only open to people living in the US, but someday I hope to do some international ones. You will not have to pay for shipping, but just make sure that if you're really young, you ask your parents that it's okay for me to ship this to you. All you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed to my channel, give this video a like, and comment your favorite candy or treat or even just food. The giveaway will close April 10th, so you can also comment on next week's video to get a second entry. I'll randomly select a winner on April 11th and let you all know the winner with a community post. This is not sponsored or anything, I just thought it would be a really fun thing to do, and to be honest, when I saw this chick in stores, I really really wanted to buy it, but I knew I didn't need any more stuffed animals, so I figured I'd give it away to one of you all. I really hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment to enter into the giveaway, or to just drop a request for a video idea. I'll see you next time!